have an inequality with fractions. And if we were solving it and keeping the fractions, the first thing we would want to do is subtract one half. So we have negative 2 over 3x is less than 5 over 6 minus 3 over 6 once we come up with an equivalent fraction. So this side is going to simplify to 2 over 6, and then negative 2 over 3x stays the same. Now remember, we're going to divide by negative 2 over 3, so it cancels out. And we're going to divide by negative 2 over 3 on the opposite side. Because the x was negative and we're dividing or multiplying, inequality sign flips. So now we have 2 over 6 multiplied by negative 3 over 2. When we cross cancel and divide by 3, this 3 turns into 1. This 6 turns into 2. And when we simplify, we're going to get x is greater than negative 2 over 4, which is just saying that x is greater than negative 1 half. So when we look at our answer choices, that would be answer choice A. Now before we go, the better way to solve this family is to come in and multiply the entire expression by the least common denominator of 6. So when we multiply 6 by 1 half, this is going to turn into 3. The 1 half turns to 3. Minus and then when we multiply 6 times 2, we get 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So this is minus 4x. And on the opposite side, this is going to be less than 5 because the 6 is canceled. Now when I subtract 3, we have negative 4x is less than 2. And after I divide by negative 4, remember that inequality rule, sign changes and flips. x is greater than negative 2 over 4. And when we simplify, we get the same answer of x is greater than negative 1 half. This is why I always tell you guys, get rid of the fraction if you can.